Hi, Denise with Motivate Therapy here to give you a simple breathing technique called the Ujjayi, or um, it's also known as the volcanic breath or breath of fire, but I like to call it the ocean breath because of the sound that it makes. It sounds like the ocean to me. So um, we talk, we are talking this month about using stress as an assistant or as a tool to help um, bring you into your body and a, a certain amount of awareness so that you can control moment by moment, moment how you feel. When we stress and worry, we very much use the energy that we need to last us throughout the day. And we know that we can't, logically we know we can't change anything by worrying and stressing more about something. So we use this breath technique as a way to refocus us. It anchors the mind, um, it calms, but it also re-energizes. So whenever starting or trying a new technique or trick or tip or exercise or stretch, I think it's always good to do a pre and post score of how you feel. So let's just take a moment to check in. Notice how you feel. Be aware of any tension in the head, the shoulders, the arms, the trunk, the back, the hips, the legs, and the feet. And just know that the first area that you find tension in is probably a typical habit for you that you tense when stressed. Um, and it, different situations might cause for different areas that we tense. So awareness first. Then we're gonna do an inhale through our nose and then we're gonna exhale, making that nice ha sound. Again, in through the nose. And then pretend like you're fogging a mirror. Good, now we can try inhaling through the nose. And then we close the mouth. So we are going to eventually inhale through the nose and out through the nose as we exhale, keeping the mouth shut. So inhaling, exhaling. So then on the inhale, that is gonna almost be like a Darth Vader sound if you think of it that way. So when you inhale, you wanna think that you're opening your throat. And then exhale, you're kind of constricting it to make that full ocean sound. So inhale, open the throat. The tongue will drop to the back or the bottom of the mouth, away from the roof of the mouth, um, which is also a very calming, non-active position for the tongue. Um, and the mind to be in, so. And then. So you can do somewhere of three to five of those at any given moment. I'm feeling stressed, I can't think very straight, I'm um, over emotional as far as I wanna yell at my kids for something silly or um, I'm, I'm not as in control as I wanna be. Stop, three or five of those, check back in. Then score your, your feeling, your emotional and mental and physical state at that point. And anything that scores the same or ideally less um, is gonna be the thing for you. And it might be the thing for you that day and it might not be the thing for you the next day. That's how you're always gonna engage. I think it's, it's always the best way to gauge if the thing is right for you, regardless of what I say or anybody else says, is how does it feel in your body? Um, does it do what you are uh, setting to accomplish? Which in this case is to use stress as an awareness tool. I'm feeling stress, I'm feeling tension in my body. I use this breath to calm things down. Another great uh, ben benefit of this breath is that the vagus nerve comes out through the jaw, down the throat, the front of the chest, pierces the diaphragm, and then goes into the gut. So we are hearing or learning more and more that the mind and the gut are connected and they affect each other. So this massages that area, the pathway, um, and that does also help calm things down. So somebody who's in a state of fight or flight, sympathetic nervous system, which very often happens in someone who is in constant pain or 
as fear of urinary leakage, uh, things like that. Doing this, checking back in, will get us into our more parasympathetic system, which is wonderful for the uh, heart, bowel, and bladder. It really is what help drives them and uh, will help relax you. And then maybe you can check back in to see if the pain is decreased, if the urgency is decreased, which in most often cases it will. So happy breathing.